Low do run a Scottish Patriots blog spot. So it's well worth having a wee look if you Google Scottish Patriot blog spot. Uh, there's a lot of good Scottish patriotic stuff on that site. Anyway, back to Wendy Wood. In 1932, Wendy Wood went to the annual Bannockburn rally. She went up to Stirling Castle there, removed the Union flag from the flagpole and replaced it with a large line rampant. <laughs> if only we had people like that now, eh? Want to go up there just now and remove it? Aye. The problem is, we now live in an age of any of us were to do that, we would find that we were very quickly put in jail. Because we're near enough getting to a police state. Even just setting up here today, the police have just been roving around here all the time. You think we were terrorists? We're just here to remember a woman who was a patriot. It's disgusting. And the looks we were getting when we were standing outside the castle up there, that's why we've moved down here to the American Cross. Now, I'd like to draw your attention to this plaque on the wall here. The American Cross. Riots took place here against the Union with England in December 1706. The ancient unicorn is known as the Puggy for local people, the unicorn there. Now, riots took place not just here, but in every city and town in Scotland. 99% of the population were against the Union. It didn't matter whether they were Catholics, Protestants or whatever. Most of the people were against the Union. It was forced through against the wishes of the Scottish people. And as Robert Burns said, he said that in his famous song, We were bought and sold for English gold, such a parcel of robes in a nation. Now, back to Wendy Wood. Wendy fought all her life for freedom for Scotland. Uh, she spent a long time trying to convince people over to the cause of Scotland's freedom. Even in the days when there was hardly anybody supported Scotland's freedom, Wendy was out there giving shouting the courts. I'd like to draw your attention to these posters that everybody's got here. As Wendy Wood at the Wallace Monument uh, in the late 1970s. Wendy's actually beside my father, James Scott. He was also a patriot. All his life he was a patriot. He was a Scottish nationalist. He was an internationalist. He was a socialist. And he unfortunately died on the 1st of July 1998. Exactly one year. Exactly one year before they reopened the parliament on the 1st of July 1999. Now when my dad died in July of 1998. His wishes were that his ashes would be scattered on Bannockburn Field. And that's exactly what we did. We took his ashes up to Bannockburn Field and scattered his ashes on the field where we had our greatest victory when we defended our country against